Hello and welcome back. We're going to continue our discussion. In the next example, what we're going to take a look at is how can we list the six possible orders of integration for a triple integral. And here we have our triple integral like this. Remember, this is going to give us volume because dv, remember the dv is going to be giving us some d like dz, dy, and dx. Remember, this comes from a rectangle. So the question is, well, if I wanted to write this as an integral, of course we have to do our change in z first, change in y, and then change in x. But what would happen if we were to change the order? Well, remember from when we did double integrals, when you change the order, you kind of change the way we have to set up our integral and our limit or our domains here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at a very easy one. Um, so to solve this one, to solve this, the order, we're going to start with dz first because that's traditionally what we tend to solve with anyways and that's going to leave my base being dy dx. So we're going to do dz first. Remember, I can have d, dv be dz dy dx. It could be dz dx dy. I could have it dx dz dy and so on and so forth. We know from statistics or or counting principle, how many operations, how many of these we would have, have to pick from. There are going to be six possibilities. So we're going to start with dz, and then we're going to talk about the base. So to do dz first, we have, this is telling us that the, we're going to be on the xy plane for our base. And we actually have two options. If I start with dz, I could be dz dy dx, or I could be dz dx dy. So let's talk about the first one. I'm going to start with my triple integral, and I'm going to start with dz dy dx. dz dy dx. Now I have to talk about their limits, the change in z, the change in y, the change in x. In order to do this, remember, because this is my base right here, this is my base, and it's telling me we're on the xy plane. In order to do this, I am going to look at my, my base right here. So it talks about the x's and the y's. So if I look over here, x and y, ready? It's telling me the first one for dy, it tells me my y values are going to go from the parabola x squared to 4. So I'm going to graph this. So I'm basically going to kind of graph this right here. My, my, uh, my y values are going to go from the parabola x squared to 4. So if I draw that parabola, draw this, there's x equals 4, this is the region we are going to be looking for, and my x's go from 0 to 2, which should be right there. Now, next, I'm going to find my limits. I already have my change in z. That's pretty easy to do. So my change in z, dz, is just going to be from 0 to 3 because that's my height. But my Now, for the first one, we're going to do a change in y. So the change in y says we are going to be vertical. I love you. So we're going to be vertical. Since we're using a vertical rectangle, that tells me my minimum y value will be the parabola x squared. My maximum y value will be 4. And this rectangle is going from left to right from 0 to 2. So dx is going to be from 0 to 2. And I can put those on here. My change in z, 0 to 3. My change in y's, x squared to 4. And my change in x from 0 to 2. And this will give us our volume. Now the other option we have for doing dz first is using dz dx dy. So let's go and take a look at that one. dz dx dy. Now my region is still the same spot. It's still the same region. Here's my x and there's my y and there's 4. So when I start with my limits now, let's take a look at what happens here. When we start with our limits, 
my dz, that's my change in height. Remember we talked about this yesterday, the other day, that's my change in height. It's still going to be from 0 to 3 because that's not on the x and y plane. But my dx and then dy are going to change a little bit because what's going to happen is because we're doing dx, dy, we have to have a horizontal rectangle. So this means something. Now we did this last year in single variable calculus. My minimum x is going to be 0. But what's my maximum x going to be? You have to be very careful because we have to put this in terms of y. So we know that we have the parabola of y equals x squared. right? So we know we're looking at the parabola of y equals x squared. So this just becomes x equals root y. So that's my maximum x value the square root of y. My y values, on the other hand, are going to go up and down from 0 to 4. Like so. And so when I write it, 0 to 3, my change in x, so x is next, 0 to the square root of y, and then from 0 to 4. Hmm. Very easy to do. You just got to be careful. Make sure you're in the right variables. And the rectangles are very helpful for that. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so we did dz first. Let's do dy first, okay? So let's take a look for the next one. So this is for dz. Let's take a look at one if we do dy first. So same exact problem here. Oops, there it is. So the same exact problem. But this time, we're going to let dy go first. Now, again, we have two options. Oops, can't spell options today. We can have dy, and then we can do dx, dz, or we can do dy, dz, dx. So in this case right here, my base is actually the x, z plane. There's our base right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start writing. So my first one, I'll go ahead and do dx dz. So it's going to be dy dx dz. And I'm going to go ahead and graph this out. Remember my base is the xz plane. And if you notice on the xz plane, my z's only go from 0 to 3. My x's go from 0 to 2. So if we take a look right here, we're looking at this rectangular area. So let's see here. My first one, so to get my limits, now you'll be very careful on this one. This time, my height is my change in y, is delta y. Because this is my height, right? And this forms my base. Area of the, area of the base times the height, that's how we get volume. So the y's are my height this time, and for this one, our height start at x squared and go to 4. Right here. Very easy, I can just tell like that. Now I'm talking about the base. The first one we said was delta x. Well, what other change in x is going from? Well, if I'm looking at change in x right here, that is telling us that we are looking at a horizontal rectangle because x goes first. So what's my minimum x? 0. What's my maximum x? 2. So it's going to go from 0 to 2. Then we're going to do the change in, oops, sorry, the change in z. Delta z. Well, this is going down and then up. It's starting at z equals 0 and going up to 3. 0 to 3. So I can write out my integral now, my change in y, x squared to 4. My change in x's goes from 0 to 2. And my change in z's go from 0 to 3. So that, was, so that takes care of the first choice that we have. Now the last one we have, of course, with the dy first, we could write it as dy dz dx. 
So likewise, I'm going to graph this. It's the same shape. It's going to be the same shape, just like it was on the uh, first one. We're not changing our shape. We're just changing the order in which we look at our base. So this was, uh, whoops, that should have been a, a 2, 2 and 3. So I'm still looking at this region. My height, so to get my limits, my height is going to be my change in y's again because y is first. So my change in y, that's going to go, and we already got that, x squared to 4, and then we got to talk about the base. So this time we want to do d, d, uh, z first, so delta z. What am I changing z's going? Remember, this is my x, z plane, so I'm going to make this one vertical because my z's have to change, not my x's. Well, I wish my x's would change, then they probably wouldn't have been my x's. So we go from 0 all the way to 3, and my change in x, this is going to go from 0 all the way to 2. And I can write out my new integral. So let's take a look here. Change in y, x squared to 4. Change in z, 0 to 3. Change in x, 0 to 2. And we've got 4 out of the 6. Now all four of these will give us the same volume. You can check that out by putting in your calculator. All right, go to the next video, and we're going to take a look at the harder one. What happens if we let dx go first? That becomes a little bit more troublesome. We'll see you then.